Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create a cascade parameters in SSRS report. So let me take you to the SQL Server data tools and show you one of the report that is using cascade parameters. So if you see here we have region parameter and in the region if I will click on the drop down I see Asia, Europe and North America. If I select Asia then what happen all the countries here in the country parameter they show according to the Asia region so let me we can select some of them and take a look now let's go to the Europe region once I click on the Europe region you will see that the country drop down list is chained so these are the countries we are getting from the Europe now we have France and Germany we can select both of them and see the data next uh, if we will select uh, the north america then the countries will uh, change according to the north america region so this is called cascade parameters when you select something uh, on uh, this value then other uh, parameter will change the values according to the first uh, parameter you can have maybe states uh, uh, in the country and then once you select a country let's say you select country then there would be another parameter called states it will show you all the states in uh, usa so you can create all those uh, different parameters but i'm going to show you how to create these uh, parameters and report so let's uh, go to the uh, ssms uh, sql server management studio and uh, take a look uh, here is my query that is uh, coming uh, uh, from total sales uh, table and it has the uh, regions uh, and uh, it has a country column also it has some other information such as for salesperson first name last name and the product sold and the etc so we are going to take this uh, query and create our report so let's go back here now right click uh, before we create the report let me show you one thing you need a shared data source or embedded data source to create the report in our case we are going to use the shared one because our all the reports are pointing to the same database so they are pointing to the sales database that's why i have created shared data source and i can use in all the reports so let's go to the reports add new item and here you will see report so let's click here now we are going to call this one cas kid parameter report empty report will be created next part uh, we will be using embedded data source or shared one so right click on the data source add data source let's name this one ds sales and here we can create embedded data source but uh, we have the shared one why not to use that one as it is pointing to the sales database where our table is so i'm going to use that one sales hit okay next uh, we will be creating a data set so we'll be creating a data set for our uh, all the detail columns or the table that we see information so this will be the main data set we will be creating and here i'm going to call this one the data set sales total and now select the data source paste the query here and we are selecting all those columns. We don't need the ID, so remove the ID. And uh, maybe other columns, which one you don't need them, you can delete them. And uh, you may, in your case, you might have uh, multiple uh, tables uh, with inner join and outer join and whatever. So in my case, uh, I have all the data coming from uh, one table. So I'm going to add the parameters now. So I, I will say where region column is equal to at the rate region. So this is creating a single value parameter when we say equal. And then we will say and country in at the rate country. You can call it country name or whatever you want to call. These parameter names are not really matter. It doesn't matter. So you can call whatever you like. But these these column names should be correct. So if I want to say region name here, in this case I want to say country name. I can have it now this is a multi value parameter because we are using in clause so okay we have region as a single value parameter and the country as multi value because in one region there could be multiple countries so all good let's go and hit okay now right click here insert and bring a table so we can insert some values here or columns and now we are going to go sales first person name sales last name item sold and uh, sold price and I'm gonna get some more columns here so I will be getting country 
and then I will be getting region. Why am I getting these two columns? Because uh, I want to show you the values are coming correct. So I'll click here, bold, and uh, say italic, and uh, drop down. So you select any color what you like. Now our report is ready. You can go ahead and put the value here. So let's say right now these both columns are single value parameters you can't really insert multiple values here let's say if I will put Asia here and then I will try to put Pakistan and India it's not going to return me anything because this is taken as single value parameter right now and uh, this is also taken as single value but if I will go ahead and just put Pakistan and uh, Asia as a region uh, then uh, it will return me the records from uh, Pakistan so we have to make these uh, parameters as a uh, multi-value sorry yeah multi-value parameter so for country name we will be making this one multi-value parameter so let's go to the parameters uh, and here we have region name that's fine and in the country name we need to make this one uh, multi-value so it can accept more than one value now if we go and preview our report uh, we have multi-value country name parameter so if I go ahead and Asia and here I will go ahead and put Pakistan and then enter and India now I will be seeing the data for both countries and which are in Asia region same way I can put Europe and France and Germany here and to get, get the values now the problem is every time you want have to write it and sometimes uh, you will make mistakes with the name and spellings and all those kind of thing you want to have automatic uh, drop downs uh, for these uh, parameters uh. so let's go to the data sets uh, and create the values for the region first and then we will create the values for the country name so right click on data set add data set and let's call this one d set and then uh, this is going to be embedded data set select the data source and here we will say select distinct region from table so I'm using the same table to get the parameter values in your case it, it can be coming from any table doesn't really matter so we are good here so it is going to give us the distinct regions hit okay now let's go back to the region and say parameter properties go to the available values and go to the get values from the query because we have written a query to uh, get the regions and that's returning us the region uh, from the table so we can use that data set is equal to d set <laughs> we just said d set we, we need to rename this one i want to rename correctly and say underscore region so we know it is not just the data set it is from region data set come back to the region name right click on parameter go to the available values get values from the query data set region and then select the field for the value and then for the label so in our case label and field the same label is what you see in the drop down such as uh, Asia if uh, you have different label like Asian region and all that uh, coming from another column you can use that here so hit OK now you see that region name is uh, in the drop down we can select Asia and then we have to write the countries uh, here so if I uh, and if I write the Pakistan and India I will be able to see the uh, records here the problem here every time we write have to write uh, these uh, countries and we have to remember which country belong to which uh, region now let's make this one uh, as a drop down as well but we want to make it a drop down in a way if we select Asia or Europe uh, the countries belong to that region uh, should show in uh, the drop down so let's go to design again in the data sets right click add data set let's call this data set D set and the country now here I will be it is also going to be embedded we need to select the distinct countries uh, from this table so I'm using the same table for uh, to get the countries you can use different one if uh, uh, your uh, uh, country names are coming from different uh, uh, table or view and uh, or store procedure whatever you want to use uh, to return those uh, distinct countries so here we have to remember a few things as we are selecting the countries we need to select only the country belong to that region or that the very first parameter we are using right so we have to say where and uh, say region is equal to at the rate region and uh, I will say region name this uh, value what you are putting here that should be exactly what we have uh, used in the query so let me show you 
where I use in the main query remember we have used uh, at the rate region name so that's what uh, you need to, to uh, provide here you can uh, take a look from here as well so we have region name parameters that's what you need to provide here if you will provide something else let's say we will provide region it's not going to work so if I will go ahead and right now if I see in the country let me go ahead now we will go and uh, use this uh, uh, data set and see if the values are coming correct so see it created a new parameter when we say region so that that's not the way you should be using the same region because the value of this country uh, whichever would the countries will be returned they should be depending upon the region and name parameter so that's not a good idea to create uh, another one and uh, let's delete this one go back here in the D country set and use the same name what we have here for the parameter so region name now we are fine Get, let's go and preview still we haven't mapped it so we have to write it so in my case I'm gonna go back to the region country name say parameter properties and then available values and here we'll say get values from the query and we are getting country um, names from D set country and if you remember D set country is using uh, as a rate region name parameter so where only countries uh, belong to that region will show up so hit ok now we are all good now here in this case you can see that country name is grayed out at, at the first uh, because we didn't select the values once we select the values Asia then uh, it will uh, start showing us uh, the, uh, the countries from uh, Asian region hit ok we see that once uh, we'll select Europe, it will uh, change the list uh, of countries uh, for uh, according to the region. So now we can select France and Germany, and uh, that's how we are able to create. Uh, sorry, we have to select the values here, USA, and uh, you can see that data is coming uh, correct. Uh, so that's how you will be creating uh, the cascade parameters let's say if you need to create another state name here and uh, let's let me show you if you want to have a state name uh, after the country name and you want to add that these are the steps you will be doing first of all you will be going back to main query where you will say uh, where region is equal to region and country and then or you, you will be using and or whatever you know uh, you want to use state in uh, at the rate state now you have added uh, another parameter called the state hit ok fine next part uh, we will be adding uh, another uh, data set to provide the states uh, so we can uh, use that so but when we will create the value for the uh, or data set for the state uh, we will be using country name so it will be only returning us the states uh, from uh, Th those that country so let's go back here in the data set add data set and here we will be using uh, let me call this one d set state or states uh, and here we will say select uh, distinct uh, state uh, from uh, dbo sales uh, where now as uh, the states value or state name should be coming uh, from a table but they should be depending on the country name so we'll say where country is equal to at the rate country name so now we'll be getting all those states that belong to that country hit okay here we need to go to the state and right click here in the parameters it is multi value parameter so we have to select the multi value and then go to available values and say get values from the query and here we will be using states and state and name or label will be state as well so hit ok now we come back to the preview and here you will see all that first of all we select the region then country names show up and let's say if I go down Pakistan and now states in the Pakistan Sindh and Punjab will show up so you can see the data only belong to those states and uh, we can have the state column here if you want to put it it doesn't really matter so go to now we let's go to the North America and here we'll say USA and uh, now we have state New Jersey and North Carolina so we will see the values or records according to that uh, selection what we have done in the region country and states so that's how you will be creating cascade parameters thank you very much for watching this video and i'm going to see you in next video